Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Today on the table in front of us, we have a budget offering and a knife that I have fallen for pretty hard since I picked it up. This is the Harns, hold on, Giant Silkworm. <clears throat> I, okay, I don't know. That's what it's called. I don't care. You shouldn't care either. It's not a giant anything. It is a mid-sized knife, but it is a very nice budget knife. Now this is about 35 bucks, 37, something like that on Amazon. Harns makes great knives. I have had the Beak, the Wolverine, the Assassin, and the General Slash Warrior, and in fact I still have them. Um, they make their knives either in D2 or in 14C28N. This is 14C28N. This is, uh, the Beak is another knife they make that also is on this sort of Axis style lock. Uh, this is their second offering in this lock. And you know what? It's very good. <laughs> it really is. Um, and because of this lock style and because the clip, which is nice and deep carry, is reversible, this is a truly ambidextrous knife. I love the blade shape here. As you can see, it's a little bit of a trailing point. It has a beautiful swedge across the top. It comes down to a very, very sharp and slicey edge. It has a bit of a choil here, which is a little tight for my big old fingers, but I can still use it. And the way this knife is designed, there are multiple ways to hold it, which just make sense. It is a really excellent EDC knife for what it is. And again, I think it's 36, okay, I'm gonna decide it's 37, because I can't remember. They're 37 bucks on Amazon. How do you go wrong? And they come in multiple colors. This of course is the only correct color, but whatever. They do come in green and yellow. I mean, they are diverse in their manufacturer. Now the handle is probably FRN or GFN. It is not G10 as far as I can tell, although it is made to look like it. It has this texturing on it, which offers excellent grip. The thumb studs are in exactly the right place for deployment. And while they are in the cutting path just a little bit, they are far enough back and you have plenty of blade up front that it is not an issue. I did mention the deep carry clip, which is stamped steel. It is a very good pocket clip. That is something that all of the Harns knives have in common. They use good clips. The access style lock, which is here, works without fail every single time. And there is a lanyard hole if you lanyard. Now we know that I don't, but if you do, it's put in the knife in such a way that it does not interfere with the clip and it does not interfere with the blade. It is in a remarkably good and usable spot. As I said, it's called the Giant Silkworm, although it is anything but a giant. So let's go ahead and get some size comparisons out of the way. Let's go ahead and put it between a couple of spider Spydercos. Here is the PM2, and as you can see, it is smaller than the PM2. Here's the PM3, and as you can see, it is just a little bigger. If we line the blades up right on that line, right? It is just a little bit bigger with a lot more cutting area than the PM3. Uh, this is a great mid-size carry. I'm really stoked with this little knife. I love 14C28N. Um, Sandvik steel is, well, it's a great user steel, right? Uh, does it hold an edge like super steels? Of course not. But if you've even got a really good ceramic rod laying around, uh, put this thing through a day's use, bring it home, hit the ceramic rod a couple of times, strop it, and it is right back to razor sharp. Um, this has been a great little knife to have around. Now, I love to keep stuff like this in the collection because why wouldn't I? If I'm going out... Uh, backpacking or if I'm going out and really going to be out in the muck and the yuck I could take one of my super expensive knives and risk losing it or I could take one of these excellent budget options in good steel use the hell out of it and if something was to happen to it it is not the end of the world and that to me is my absolute favorite reason for keeping stuff like this around the last few years have been an absolute golden age of budget knives they really have and this is part of that Harns has been around for a while, I think. Their stuff goes back at least a couple of years on Amazon. A uh, year, a little more than a year on Amazon. But um, in the last year, they have absolutely stepped their game up. It doesn't come in a particularly fancy box. 
as you can see. It's just cardboard. But, you know, if you wanted to pay an additional $10 per knife, they could probably put it in a nicer box. I don't see any reason for it. Let's go ahead and weigh it out. I haven't done that yet, and I've even had it for a while. I'm curious now. 3.2 ounces. Now, look. The bug out is what? 1.8? Right, 1.8 ounces. And again, the PM3 is 3.4. So this weighs less than this. This is 36 or $37. This is 150 Right? Now, look, the S30V steel is a little better than Sandvik. But is it better enough to be $100 better? I don't know. That'd be up to you. I think if you are looking for a budget line of knives, I think if you are looking for a knife that is very similar in size to the bug out, that costs considerably less, that has a fair amount of good style, I mean, come on, look at that, then you cannot go wrong with Harns knives, and particularly here with the uh, Harns large silkworm. I just wish it was called the silkworm. I do. I don't know why it's law. It's not. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and measure it out. So you get one, two, three, and a quarter inches of cutting on three and a half inches of 14C28. You get one, two, three, just over three and a half inches of grip space. If you use the choil, of course, you're going to get a little more than that. You're going to get one, two, three, four and a half inches of grip. So while it is verging on right there, right, little small for me, I don't care. At this price range, you shouldn't care either. And the action is so good. <laughs> anyway, this is the Harns Large Silkworm. It is a great budget option. If you guys are out there looking for a knife that will not let you down from a company that makes interesting and fun knives that are readily available on Amazon, this is a great choice. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed taking a look. I know I've enjoyed having it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this Harns or any of the Harns knives I own, feel free to ask down in the comments. We'll see you next time.